Real estate agent, are you looking to acquire clients consistently so you can grow your business and your income to live a great lifestyle? This is Dave Finale and the RE Skill Builder Podcast. Almost caught me unprepared. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's Friday and it's time for the weekly Real Estate Skill Builder Real Estate Talk, TGIF. This is episode 178, Chris, and we've been doing this for 175 weeks in a row. Um, we have not missed a week in those 175 weeks, and it's called Real Estate Talk, TGIF. And real estate's all about, this whole thing is about giving value back to my community that I work with, and that would be real estate agents. But I do have a real important question for you, Chris, before we get started. And that question is, do you know what TGIF stands for? Most people would say, thank God it's Friday. What What do you say it stands for? Well, that's really that's really a good guess, right? But it's actually, it's my show. My name's Finale, so it's thank God it's Finale, right? I love it. I, I do too. Anyway, so <clears throat> real excited to have um, a, a, a young genius from the South on this on his broadcast today, Chris Harden, who, you know, your, 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 your story is cool. What you do and how you do it is really cool because you understand people. And that's probably the most important part of what you do and why it works. So, so Chris, your, um, your, your, your company, your page, your product is book me solid. And the, um, the, it's all based on, on messenger. Tell me a little bit about you, how you got here and, and what you're doing with it and, and 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 just go forward with that, man. Yeah. So I've been in real estate probably about seven years now. I kind of stumbled into it. Uh, before that, I, I built websites with WordPress and WordPress is pretty much what powers the majority of websites out there. And uh, I, I was known as the WordPress trainer. So you would get you get mad at the website, you go Google, that, how do I fix it? And we'd book a Zoom call and we'd run from there. Uh, I started, basically updated a real, real estate website and they started asking me, can I generate leads? And I was like, let me figure that out. And I got back to them. So I did, I figured out how to generate Facebook leads and Google leads both. But what I found out through that is that they've never really had leads and they didn't know what to expect. They didn't know about follow-up. They didn't know that people are not just going to instantly like pick up the phone or you know, well wish them and remember who they are. So fast forward, uh, maybe like six months or so, I I got an ad for Domino's and I clicked on it and it took me into Messenger and it basically let me build my pizza. And then it sent me to their website to check out. And I was like, that is a beautiful experience. I need to figure out how that works and do that with real estate. So I did. Um, and I did it in two, two different fashions. One, basically, instead of having an autoresponder on your, on your Facebook page, most people, you know, says call, text, email me. We have something that they can actually use. It's like, how can I help you buy or sell? And if you say buy, it'll generate, you know, it'll generate a result and send it back to your website. But our bread and butter, we generate conversations with paid traffic talking about a listing. So we interrupt their news feed um uh, basically with a with a pretty house right and instead of sending them to a website instantly we send them to messenger we give them the details there and what that does is that connects you the real real estate agent professional with them and gives you an easy way to just like follow up there's no was that a fake person it, it's connected to a profile so that's the beautiful thing about that um with with dave saying he's he's done 178 consecutive episodes i'm sure y'all totally know about consistency consistency is everything that's it that's that's great All man I, I i i love i love how you trans how you how you got the the dominoes thing in there with 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 i mean you thought well how are they doing this right and yeah. for, for most people they don't understand what you did is you typically took a thought process an idea and mm -hmm. you did what we call reverse engineer it right yep. to figure out what it was and say this is cool i can really use this right so um we talk about different things that um we're looking at right so problem number one that you've talked about uh, on your page is that referrals are not predictable 
right? That's They're true. Not predictable. Talk, talk about how you, uh, you know, what you, what your thought process on that with systems and everything else. Well, I talked to a lot of real estate agents and I am a real estate agent now as of November last year, but every single one of them's like, yes, I'm a primary referral agent. And I'm like, great. How's that? And they're like, it's like this. I'm like, well, what do you expect? You know, like you have to do things to nurture those relationships. But at the end of the day, there's no more people to sell to. There's no more people to sell to. So you right. have to go fishing in other ponds. And that's right. that's a great way to do it is with paid traffic. Right. So, all right. So, so with paid traffic, but what, okay. So, so Chris, I, I don't know how to do this and why can't I just buy leads from Zillow? Why wouldn't I just want to buy leads from Zillow or Op City or all that? I mean, yeah, okay. I got to pay a little for it, but why wouldn't I want to do that? Well, they, they've kind of flipped their model now and they, they want 35% of your commission, maybe 40 tomorrow. And by the time you pay your broker, what what's left? Like what's, what's the effort there? Like, I don't feel like that's a great reward to get 50% for my efforts. And I have to be available to answer a phone call anytime anybody wants to hit me up. I don't, that ain't me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be on the line. So, so you have to be available to answer phone call, but don't you have to be available to, to interact with Messenger as well? You do and you don't, right? We buy you some time. That's the beautiful part about it. Everybody wants that instant gratification, so we give it to them, and then we give them one follow-up. After that, you can come back in later. You don't have to drop everything you're doing. If you're at the movies, be at the movies. If you're at dinner, be at dinner. Don't like just drop life to pick up the phone for a random stranger that you don't know if they're serious or not. Messenger, you can step back into the conversation anytime you want. And it's just like, you know, today, like there's no denying it happened. They can scroll up and see what was what the previous conversation was. Like okay. you're not having to explain who you are and why you're calling them. OK, so I, I get that. I get that. And and the other thing, that the, the third thing that you say, the problem, the third problem is that agents really don't have follow up systems set up. And I'm going to agree with that 100 percent. But. And then the next thing you talk about there is, are you a secret agent? One of the things that I don't understand mm -hmm. is that if you're in real estate, I always say that, okay, okay, Chris, you're in real estate. You're now a public figure. Believe it or not, that is true, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you want to be out there selling real estate nowadays, if you haven't been around for 20 years, people aren't going to know who you are. So you've right. got to be out there and you've got to to use a phrase from a great book by John Chep, like interrupt their pattern, right? Yep. You've got to be able to interrupt them, but you also need a way to follow up with people, but you also need to be present, which means yes. if someone comes to Facebook, they want to say that you're a real estate agent. They see it, right? Yep. So what in, in, in with, with Book Me Solid and what you've got, how does that help you not being a secret agent? Well, it's it's easy to become a face out in the community without actually being there, because typically you're doing a 15 mile radius and you can serve it up directly to your audience. Right. Um, what that third problem is, is actually talking more about retargeting where like we're talking specifically to your audience. Uh, but they in a roundabout way, if they keep seeing different houses pop up, they think Chris is just selling them all. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be my listing. I just have to get permission to promote it. So instead of me going to set at an open house all weekend while you go to the lake, I can run an ad and go to the lake too. It's the new way to do <laughs> right. it. Okay, so 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 you're running you're running ads. Correct. So you're running typical Facebook ads like everybody else is running. What are we running? What's different? What's different is the call to action and the follow up mechanism. So we kind of laughed about this the other day. I was talking with an investor and his form said submission form. He's like, oh, that's terrible. It was like a carrot website. Like investor has has like a built website that you just start with and you can change stuff. And I was like, submission doesn't sound very good. Like you're you're asking, do you want to sell your house? Give me more info. So get rid of the submission part. Pretty much every other platform asks you for your life story. Who right. are you? What's your email? What's your phone number? You know, how old are you? What's your credit score? All that stuff. With Messenger, I don't have to ask who you are. Your profile is tied to it. I know what your first and last name is. I can click on it and see if we have any mutual friends. I don't have to ask that question. 
I don't need your email because we're in a channel. I'm not going to make you jump out of a moving vehicle. I don't need your phone number. Same reason. You're not going to jump out of a moving vehicle when we're right here. When I have a reason to, to, to go over here to the phone call, I have a great reason to do it, you know? Right. So, so do me a favor, walk me through the process of you set up the ad. Tell me, tell me what the process is for that consumer. Walk me through that process. For the consumer, far as, as, as browsing it and interacting with the agent or the consumer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When they're going to see your ad, are they seeing your ad in messenger or are they seeing it first and then going to messenger? They're seeing it in their newsfeed. So as they're scrolling there 25 times a day, there it is. And when it catches their eye, they're clicking learn more and they're like, whoa, it goes to messenger. And, you know, it's kind of like a natural thing, but it keeps them within the platform. So that does two things that makes it really engaging, but it also makes the price really cheap because the majority of people are trying to send people over to a website and get people to submit over there. So it, it's a competition. Facebook's a competition. It's a bidding war. And when everybody else is paying for clicks and conversions to get them to go fill out a form and nobody's doing messenger, it's very cheap and, and effective, right? So why wouldn't I want to just run a lead ad on Facebook? I'm going to get their information, just like you said. What's the difference between doing what I say is a lead ad and doing mm -hmm. a messenger ad? The difference for you is you could get bad information. You have to follow up a lot more. And you have to go through the process of actually figuring out how to automate that because you can go build it and then you can get a list. But if you don't call them within five minutes, that's kind of like the stat, right? With Messenger, I'm going ahead and I'm following up almost instantly. I follow up like one minute later. So they felt like I followed up with them. If they engage, they engage. If they don't, cool, you come back and you hit them again. But within two or three or four pushes, you'll get a yes, or, you'll get a yes no, or a go away. And that's the goal. So in other words, what's happening is that they're going to Messenger and you're responding to them with pre-written texts, with pre-written messages. Is that it? Yep. So people like to push buttons, right? So a follow-up question says, hey, could this one be the one? Maybe not the one or just curious. If they say maybe, it says, great. When would you like to go see it? They say not the one It starts asking what kind of property are you looking for and just kind of engages with them. They could fall off or they could go all the way through it. If they go all the way through it, guess what? They booked a phone call with you. If not, you just step back in and say, hey, John, I see you were looking at this. You know, what, what happened? Or where are you at in the process? They say just curious. We ask, are you just curious about the house or the market? So like you have two different ways to go at that. And just curious, if you're just curious, you're, when you go shopping for a car, you typically walk away with a car within that week. Real estate's a little bit different, but everything kind of starts with a curiosity. So I, I value the curiosity ones a lot more than the maybes, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, it, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. I'm just looking at some notes I've made, you know, and uh, I'm looking at and what you're basically talking to talking about is how strategies are changing for effectiveness, mm. that is, right? Yeah. I mean, we can use the old strategies and they'll work to a point. Do you have any idea, The uh, is there a metric that talks to you about this messenger strategy as compared to other ad type strategies? Far as a cost comparison of, of closing, like if you, if you try any whatsoever, you get a 1% conversion rate. Right. If you try a little bit harder, we're seeing 10, 15% conversion rate for like a hundred dollars in ad spend compared to traditional. You had to sweat that thing out, trying to call people and hope your automation and text and all that stuff worked. And then you just assume I'm going to put them on a drip email. Who wants to get dripped on? I want to know where are they at in the process? I don't want to assume that they're looking at houses like it, it's it's kind of changing the, the process and getting into the conversation now. Right. Like I'm not trying to go backwards right? and try to set it up to get into the conversation. We just start the conversation and run with it. So, so basically, so let's talk about this, right? So 
one of the things that we can see is when we look at a let's just look at a hundred leads, okay? A hundred yep. hundred attempted connections. I want to call them leads because if they don't respond, they're not a lead, right? They're attempted connections. I'm trying to change that vernacular there, but <clears throat> out of that hundred hmm. that someone would get from a maybe a maybe a, a, a pay-per-click or a Facebook ad, et cetera, we're looking at between maybe one to, I mean, let's be really, let's, let's be ultra liberal with 4%, one to 4% as far as uh, a return on your investment, as far as transactions, right? Sure. So, and then you look at, I always say the Dave's rule of thirds. The first third, they're going to buy within zero to six months. They're the hot leads. The second third is two to 24 months. Something can happen to change. That's why there's such a long span. The last yeah. third is that, you know what? They ain't buying shit. And, you know, some of them are going to hate on you for sending them emails. Right. So then you look back and you break it down to that middle, that middle, right? You take that middle two to 24. If you continue to drip on them, you said, who wants to be dripped on? Right. That's why I'm going through this process to, to, sure. to, to, to compare. Right. There's a chance that something may happen, you know, in a month, two months, Uncle Joe may say, here's 50 K go buy a house. They get pregnant. Um, mm -hmm. They uh, they got to move because they got a job change, etc. And then you look at that first third, which is going to buy, and it's just a matter of who connects fastest, speed to lead, mm -hmm. right? So my point of the, of the question is a long way to get to it, but here it is, right? We've got now business, and then we've also got not now business, which is going to be ready. Our phone calls, our leads, our follow-up will build momentum for us in the future. Hmm. Not as much as if we're making phone calls to FISBOs and expires, but hmm. nonetheless, there's some momentum there. How does this system with Book Me Solid create momentum for you and not lose anybody, or is the lead that much better? So it, the lead is that much better, but then also you've mentioned FISBOs and following up with them. You know how you're building a relationship with them and they, yes. they may they may just love Dave, but I'm not moving. But guess what? My neighbor is. You know how they tell people? Yes. It's the same way with Messenger. Like if you love on them in Messenger and actually give them information that is is applicable specifically to them, not just like random. Here's some more houses like anybody can make a list of houses. The value that you can bring is, hey, I work with these other guys and we I have access to stuff that's off market. I know about this one that's coming to market next next week or next month or whatever. Like that's that's the conversation you can have in Messenger versus some kind of drip. They're going to get the same information anywhere else compared to if I can if I can chat with them or if I send them a selfie and like connect and on a whole different level. It's it's not just the right now business. It's not just the couple months business. It's also that business where they're like, hey, I've been chatting with this Dave guy about selling my house. I got friends moving to town. I need I need a real estate agent. Who else am I going to pick? I'm going to pick Dave. I've been chatting with Dave for months now, like here and there, you know. So so let me ask you this question. So there's a lot of there's, there's a number of messenger strategies and. Is there a strategy? Is there a point where you take them off of Messenger to the phone? Absolutely. Okay. It's just like dating. Like you don't just go right in for the phone yeah. number. You know, you got to have a conversation and go go wine and dine them first. Or you know, like there's an order to the process. Right. And it makes sense for you to step into a phone call. It makes sense. But otherwise, if you look around, most people have their head in their phone. So why not be there in, instead of go against the grain? And against the grain would be what? Would that be, would, would that be, I mean, the typical old style, old style strategies? I don't know who this number is. Ignore. Oh God, this guy left me another voicemail. Ignore. Like, you know, be where they're at. Yeah. And so, so I, I watched a lot of different stuff that I saw. And one of the things, so let's talk about response strategies. So we've talked about how to bring them in. We've talked about our point of, of, of what our goals are and how we want to treat them. But talk to me about different response strategies uh, that you've used to, to, to build the rapport, to build the relationship. Because let's face it, you can't do shit without rapport, right? Yeah. Well, I believe it's important to get rapport and then move on. 
like if you continue and continue and continue, you're in buddy zone and you're never going to do anything with them. Exactly. You know, man, in, in, in some of my some of my sessions, I talk about <laughs> how agents can get into a point with they call a FISBO. I say, oh, please. You know, I'd like to come and just preview it. Do you have a buyer? I might. I've never seen your home. Can I please preview it? That yeah. puts them in the friend zone. You can't yes. talk to them about selling their home because you said you might have a buyer, right? right. And that's exactly what you're talking about there is you're getting yeah. into the buddy zone, the friend zone. And the other thing that I saw, which I really, I really dug when I was, when I was looking at some of your stuff, um, you said we're talking to people, right? Yeah. And I think salespeople, because honestly, that's what we're supposed to be. People say, well, you're a marketer now. Well, that's sales, right? So, sure. um, the greatest thing, and I want you to talk to this, is we are interrupting people's interruptions. Because let's uh, face it, Facebook ads are what I call non-directional marketing. Correct. YouTube is what I call directional marketing. Because people correct. Are they search YouTube. for it. Right. They're searching for it. On yep. Facebook, there's not one person that I know that has bought a house, and I know hundreds and thousands that ever woke up on a Saturday morning and said, yep, I'm going to Facebook to find a house. Right. No, one's no they're not. Ever, no one's ever done that. So so talk to me about the theory and the logic of interrupting people's interruptions. Yeah, so people go to Facebook to get away from other stuff. It's, it's nothing, I mean, I, try, I actually try to get out of it. it. It's like a whole little tunnel, but at the same time, it's, it's how you make money too. So interrupting the interruption People just keep scrolling. So you could go focus on making a video that disappears or you can run an ad and make it there forever and make sure that it hits them with a frequency. So what I found is a video is great for education, but to start a conversation, give them a house. Once once you give them the house, then then we can dig deeper. Then we can say, hey, have you bought a property before? That tells me, are you a first time home buyer or not? Like if you it's the quality of questions that you ask. We have we have a what we call a cheat sheet. It's called humanizing the conversation. And y'all can go get it if you want it. There's no no like lead catch or any of that stuff. I just want you to use it and be like, oh, crap, it works. It's bookmesolid.com slash humanizing the conversation. Right there, you'll find 20 plus questions to ask. Start with the first eight. After that, you know, it's persistence. Some people you have to push, some people you don't. But at the same time with the interruption, I don't I don't assume that they're just going to be right here chatting with me all instantly because I don't want to be right there instantly chatting with them when my Facebook ad says, cool, you know, boom. They could be on potty time. They could be at the playground. You don't know where they're at, right? Right. The important right. part is get it started, and then it's a back and forth. Right, right. Because they're there all day long here and there. They're there like six hours a day. Exactly. Is that is that correct what I just put on the uh... humanize, humanizing, humanizing the conversation? Yeah, I, I, I never was good at public typing. <laughs> it's a really hard word. We need a better link for it. <laughs> and I spoke, I missed the A in conversation. So, um, but this is exactly what you're talking about, right? Um, oh, sorry. I just went to the wrong one. There I go that one. Did I fix it? I did. Humanizing the conversation. So, so talk to me about, talk to me about some of these, some of these things that you have on this, on this page, humanizing the conversation. It's, it's just questions to ask. A lot of people don't know what to ask, so they don't ask. Like once once you have a connection, you're the leader now. You have to poke. You have to ask questions. If you go to the doctor, you can tell them you think you broke your ankle, but they're still going to ask you a lot of questions, and then they're going to diagnose you. You're the same. You're the same way. You're diagnosing them. What's the problem? You know why are you looking? You want a bigger house? Like are you renting? Did, did no, it pull up that. For you, Dave? What's that? Did it pull up for you? It did not pull up for me. Bookmesolid.com, humanizing the conversation. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay, never mind. Humanize. I got it. This should do it. I want to show it. That didn't work either. Is it humanizing yeah. or humanizing? 
you know, just one second. It's humani humanize the conversation. I'm going to send it to you in Messenger right here. Here we go. Okay. I apologize. We need a words than that. Words. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. But yeah, open that up and we can review it. Let me see. I just went back to the page. Okay. All right. Here it is. Okay. So let me see if I can share this. Yeah, uh, this goes to a Google Doc. Yep, I got it. I got it. I want to go to see if I can share, share screen. Let's go to window. We want, of course, it doesn't want to help me here. Desktop, window, Chrome tab, Chrome tab. There it is. So let's go there and share that. So here we are. Can you everybody see that? Yep. The the link on your on the black part is wrong though. But that is that is the it is. I will fix that when I come back. Um, yeah. so what why are you thinking of buying? One question. What type of property are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Great question, right? These seem seem like simple questions, but they're really, really important. Have you brought a bought a property in the past? These are questions that even even experienced um, agents can can get an idea of. Oh, wow. Maybe I missed that one. Right. Because yep. these questions, correct me if I'm wrong, are also going to build rapport because it gives you an opportunity to respond to the question. Right. Absolutely. It also gives so, you some follow up. Go ahead. So, so that top part is like, if you talk to any real estate agent, they're going to say, how can I help you? Are you looking to buy or sell? Like that is what, what most come, come with. And that's what I see in messenger until I tell them what to say. So when you tell them what to say, that's a very specific question. You know, that we're going for a response. I want to know the motivation behind it because I don't want, most people will say, I don't want to waste time with a lead. I want to understand you and see if I can help you or not. If I can't help you, then like we part ways and move on. But once we get connected, like it, it's the whole point of our connection is see if I can help you or not. Yeah. And I also want to, I also want to just, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to put, put forth what I got on the screen now. Text yeah. on behalf of an assistant. This is a very powerful situation where you're, you, you, it goes out as an assistant, or if you have an assistant, they can do this. Um, a lot of people, and I'll come away from this now. Uh, hold on. Are we back? Yep. Um, so a lot of people will um, have an assistant and not know how to use them. But when you have an assistant, and they're going to do this, even if you don't have an assistant and you send a text like that, yep. it's powerful because yes. oh, this guy's serious. This guy's good at what he does. Right. Yeah. So, so I don't have an assistant, but I do it. You know, I, it makes you bigger than you are and it makes you look serious. Just like you said, you know, Hey, I work with Dave. I'm on Dave's team. Right, right, right. Exactly. Exactly. So that's that. That's really cool, and and that's one of those things that's on your site. They go to. Um, let me just fix this again, which I, yeah, did. I believe we got. I believe we might actually have a link in the footer to that. If not, for simplicity, I'll add it down there. I'll get that okay. added. Okay. Cool. So so anyway, so um, as we go through as we go through the site and what you do. So you've worked with a number of people, and. Um, there's certain things that people have to have, right? So they say, well, well, I gotta have a Facebook business page. How important mm -hmm. is that? Well, you gotta have one because you can't do ads without it, right? You can't do ads without it. And that's what your inbox is tied to. So you, you can't run an ad to your personal profile. Okay, so you're also using another process, um, another software around this that has a cost mm -hmm. to it, which is ManyChat. Yes. Yep. So, so many chat, many chats basically uh, helps us automate that conversation and, and make it pretty. Give pictures within Messenger. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the way you build out like an email campaign. It's just Messenger. It's just the equivalent for Messenger. Is all it is. Yeah, because you can get a lot of help with that. So, so then you've got then you've got the other thing is with agents that don't have listings. You know, mm -hmm. you know that the answer is pretty simple to that is company listings, friends listings, et cetera, et cetera, and just use those, right? Absolutely. It, that is no different than asking, can I sit at your open house? 
Uh, somebody told me the other day, the simplest way to ask is, hey, can I pay to promote your listing? Right. Who's going to say no to that? Right. Exactly. Exactly. So so what is what is the process of people starting to work with you and 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 what do they have to do and how does how does your process work? As far as getting up and running. Yep. You just go order. Once you uh, once you click the button, you pay three hundred dollars. It's going to take you to another form. It's going to ask for a link to your listing. It's going to ask the duration you want to run it and how much you want to spend. We have a couple options there. We start at ten dollars a day and seven seven day span. Um, your first time, it's going to take you to an onboarding document and basically walk you through giving us permission to your business page and your ad account. Right. And after that, we're off to the races. Um, your second time around, there's a reorder link and you don't have to go through any of that. It's just right. easy. All right. So, um, so a lot of people have, you know, and I've seen this with a lot of people and it's actually something I'm going to be addressing in a, in a video series in a, in a few weeks about copy what is already there or do I want to change it myself? So we look at in this instance, we see top agents, people say copy a top agent, copy what they're doing. To me, that's a good idea. But if you don't know what they're doing completely, don't do it mm, because you're going to fail. Yep. So, and then when it comes to systems and processes over my lifetime, you know, broker owner for 21 years, been in real estate over 40, I've seen a lot of things. And one of the things I've learned is that for the most part, if someone says, follow this process, use these words. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to work. Mm -hmm. I bring this up because people might want to change how this goes. Is that something that they can do? Can they use their own? Can they change the messages? Can they do all this stuff? Because I know that if a system works, you don't mess with it. That's the right answer right there. Yeah. There, there's always room for trying new things, but when you have like a proven method, why would you want to do anything else? Why would you not want to get there faster? So you've been so exactly, exactly, exactly. So you've been um, you've been uh, on other broadcasts, um, yes. Lab Code Agents, Secret Agent Secrets, Bold Podcast, Agency Partner, Red Hawk Coaching. Tell me if 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 you weren't if you weren't getting results you wouldn't be on these broadcasts and you wouldn't be here either. So talk to right. me about some of the results that some of your clients have had. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we work with both solo agents and teams. Uh, we find it better for solo agents because they don't have, mo most of them don't have a plan, right? They come into real estate and they're like, they're telling me go get a website and spend six months in this webinar and do this and that. We just try to pare it back and simplify it to get up and running but I have, a, I have a few, I have one uh, a month or so ago. She actually is, is her first deal through it. She never met the person until closing day. They had such a good conversation going back and forth. Uh, the, the person that, that bought the house went to an open house and she's like, hey, if you go to that open house, you, you can't talk to them or anything. You know, if, if you're working with me, you're working with me, go check it out and then let me know if you want me to write it. So she did that. She wrote the offer and like she actually didn't even see the house till inspection day. And then wow. they met at closing day. So I've had that story multiple times. Um, I have a buddy here in Woodstock. He started last year. It was his first year. I think he's close six so far. But his very first one was a similar thing. We were going to the beach for a um, fall break we get like a week for that. And he had somebody go show a house and had them under contract. By the time he got back, that one fell through. He had he met up with them and did another one, but like still a four hundred fifty thousand dollar house that started out a messenger is pretty cool when you're a brand new agent. So it gives you all this opportunity to people that you don't know. Everybody talk like the referral network is really really slim when you think about it. But there's a whole lot of there's a whole world out there that you don't know. So that's that's what messenger enables you to do is open up to the people you don't know. So do you, do you believe, of course, this is your product and this is something you've worked on and, and really perfected. Do you believe that this is a substitute or something that's better than regular Facebook ads? 
I believe it's better than regular Facebook ads, given that you will actually follow up and follow that process that we talk about. Right. If you're not going to do the work and get on the treadmill, you're not going to lose the weight. Same thing with this. If you're not going to have the conversation, they're not just going to come knock on your door. <laughs> right, exactly. So is there a way for this system that we use this system to be overwhelmed with responses? Is that going to happen? Because that's something that someone might have. Absolutely. To Absolutely. Like you're going to get more leads than you've ever seen before. And a lot of people, we dial, we dial it back. I have a guy right now that we're only running five dollars a day because he's getting like eight at a time for five dollars. He was getting twenty five before that, just for that simple fact. Because of the competition, no one else is running Messenger, and he's in this small town we like to call Atlanta. So if that tells you anything, how underutilized it is, it's ridiculous. So okay, so um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, it happens when you get old. So so. so you're running, there's a cost to join a program and then there's a cost to build your ads. What are the costs involved? Because look, you know what? A lot of people <clears throat> really don't want to do this. You know, they don't want to make the call, um, yeah. which is a shame. And I'm going to tell everybody again that this really isn't phone avoidance technology, but it might be. And I don't promote that, but you know what? If this is one of the ways to scale your business, it makes sense. So talk to me about costs and how someone can get in this as cheap as possible because nobody wants to spend money. You know that. Absolutely. So there is a cost involved. We, we have to get paid, but I've made it as minimum as possible is $300 and then your ad spend. And we give you a guarantee if you do the seven days at $10 a day. So you're 370 in, I guarantee you'll get a minimum of 50 exclusive leads. And if you don't, I'll give you your money back. But like I say 50, because when you get like 100 or 200, like I want you to be like, wow, but that's just kind of my secret. So let me get this <laughs> right. So if, so you 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 basically are guaranteeing they're going to get in the first week, they're going to get 50 leads. If we run it for seven days for $10 a day, I guarantee 50 or I'll, I'll refund it to you. You know what? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. So, so you know, it's it, one of the great things about what I'm able to do is I'm able to meet great people uh, such as yourself. And, and, you know, yeah. I put you, I put you right there with, you know, uh, there's a product out there called high note and Mark Choi was on my, on my program, on my broadcast uh, a couple of months ago. <laughs> and of course, and of course the great grant wise with Whitley and all that. And, and, and that is another process for Facebook ads that make an awful lot of sense because I've been working with grant for years and years this one makes a lot of sense to me. And that's why when we started talking um, that I really wanted to really look into this and make a lot more sense because I do a lot of my work through Messenger, be it on Instagram or be it on Facebook. Can this, by the way, can this also be utilized on Instagram? You can run on Instagram. I focus on Facebook, but yeah, there's a checkbox for placement in Instagram. It costs a little bit more because Instagram's a little different audience. Right. There is similar to it's more entertainment there. Right. They're looking for videos and stuff. They're not necessarily looking for a house. So right. if I was going to place one in Instagram, I would want more like a video walkthrough or like, you know, something to intrigue me more than just four static images. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. Make a lot of sense. All right. So, man, we've gone through your process. Um, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Is it? Uh, just go to bookmesolid.com. So there we go. We've got bookmesolid.com and we've got send messages on Facebook at bookmesolid.com on that page. Yep. Bookmesolid on that page. Yep. And you're on Facebook as Chris Harden. Um, what is one thing that you would say to people? Um, should they be thinking about your product? Should they be thinking about working on Messenger? Even if they don't use you, what would you have to say to them? What would be the best way to get them started? The best way to get started is, well, make, make a commitment, you know, like a lot of people start a lot of things. The, the way that I find to, to make a commitment is there's got to be a, a, a consequence, right? Say so like, if you want to get into it, go tell your buddy, I'm going to give you a hundred bucks if I don't do this by next Friday. It, it, that's how I get motivated. That is, I, I love that because that's all about accountability. Right. And, um, you know, just 
quick plug for the next couple of weeks. We've got two great authors coming up the next couple of weeks. We've got Bob Berg, the Go-Giver, and a week after that, Sam Silverstein, who's the author of 11 books, including the book, I Am Accountable. So that's really that's really important what you just said. They're, make, they're being accountable and committing to something because if you want something, if you don't commit to it, you're not going to get it. Um, so, you know, this is this has been really cool. I really, really have enjoyed this conversation. And um, we've talked about how to get people can get in touch with you. They go to bookmesolid.com, find you on Facebook. Also, uh, message you at Book Me Solid page on Facebook. I have two more things for you. The first one is really an important question. How do I, Dave Finale, Real Estate Skill Builder, how do I help you grow your business? How do you help me grow my business? I mean, people that you think could use it, tell them about it. I mean, as simple as that. Awesome. Awesome. I'll do I that. <laughs> I, I'm happy to do that because I love the product. Um, and last but not least, I know when we started talking about coming on a broadcast, you said, do I get a hat? Because yeah. everybody gets a hat. So, so the hat's coming to you. We got that set up. Everybody, I want uh, um, any last words, Chris, that you'd like to join and like to throw out here uh, for this broadcast? I would say take action today because you're not you're not guaranteed tomorrow. So not necessarily take action with us, but just whatever whatever you set out to do today, do it. Awesome. Great. Hey, Chris, thank you so much for being on the broadcast. Stay with me as we go out. Everybody, thank you. Don't remember, don't forget, bookmesolid.com, Chris Harden. You know, this guy's this guy's great. He's an innovator. He knows he knows exactly what he's talking about, and he can help you build your business. Whether you're a new agent, a, a stuck agent, an experienced agent, or an agent that wants to grow, this is a great little tool. I say you say little, it's a great tool to add to your repertoire, to add to your strategies and tactics. Thanks everybody for watching the broadcast today. We will see you next week with, hold on. We will see you next week. Where is it? There it is. We'll see you next week with Bob Berg coming on. It's going to be a great broadcast. Thanks so much, everybody.